Hey, what's up guys? My name is Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. This is the Great War mod and we're playing with the Ottoman Empire. Alright guys, so I'm still sick so there might be, you know, a little bit more cuts than usual as I'm cutting out any coughs here. Uh, and I might still sound a little bit nasally or something. Uh, but yeah, I am getting better guys. So, uh, I've been uh, doing a few different things with this sickness. Trying to try and get rid of it a little bit quicker. Uh, but yeah, I've been thinking about uh, what we can do to try and win this war on the Eastern Front as quickly as possible. Uh, and also I've been in discussion with a lot of you guys in the comments just trying to you know we're getting kind of ideals we're uh you know just getting together putting our heads together trying to figure out uh, the best way to do this and so what we're gonna go ahead and do uh i've been wanting to do something about this over here for some time now because really i mean there is this victory point here uh there's one over here as well that's that's total of eight points i'm not saying it's not uh at all uh useful uh invading this way uh but obviously there's far more better places we could be making use of our army so that's what we're gonna do uh we're gonna leave some army here because I, I don't want to lose all this land here Obviously, there's some, some key victory points here, and of course, this is all our land as well, uh, so we are getting the, there's not really any factories here, uh, but we are getting all the resources down here. I don't want them getting this land back, uh, and of course, that's victory points uh, that they could be uh, uh, getting back for themselves. Now, the other thing is, guys, if you guys remember that uh, their their uh, chance of capitulating, their, their percentage towards uh, surrendering uh, increased last episode, uh, or it decreased, actually. And I was like, why why are they at, like, 41% when we used to have them 49%? And I didn't understand why, and I was thinking that Austria-Hungary had lost, or lost some of this territory they had taken. Uh, but that's not the case, guys. Uh, what happened is national focuses. Uh, they just must have just gotten the discover the czar authority, or discuss the, the czar's authority. That increases base national unity by 10%. They're also getting another one here uh, that's going to be increasing base national unity by 10% and another one right there. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's that's not great. Uh, as you see, they're at 73%. This is going to make it harder to get them to capitulate, guys. So that's that's what the problem is. That's why uh, we're having issues there. Uh, but let's go ahead and deal with this. We're going to try and get in there as, as quickly as possible, uh, but it does seem like many things are kind of working against us uh, in some of these areas here. Uh, we are going to take, I think we're going to leave like eight divisions here because obviously, like I said, we do need uh, to keep a strong army over here. Uh, I think it would be a good ideal. So let's just take the leave the weaker ones um, over here. Yeah, because we're, we're gonna delete we're gonna delete this entire front here. Uh, yeah, because I want to take the current army that we have. I don't want to. I don't feel like switching all this stuff out. So let's go go ahead and grab like eight of these guys. Um, just the eight or the weaker ones, I suppose. Uh, put them into their own separate army over here, uh, and we'll go ahead and give them. I don't know, maybe like a purplish color, maybe a little bit different than some of the other purples. A little uh, like a real light one here. Uh, go ahead and give them something that we don't have yet. Uh, I guess we don't have this one. That'll work. Okay, so we'll put them over here. We're going to go ahead and give them a commander. I know we don't actually have any commanders, but we have so much political uh, power here that it's not an issue. Uh, though I kind of feel like maybe we should take that level 2 guy out from wherever he's at. Uh, you know what? It's fine. We'll put him over here. He's going to get a bunch of experience. He's a new guy. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and give them a little bit of line here. Uh, it's going to be... I don't know. It's not going to be too ambitious here. Obviously, they only have 8 divisions. Uh, maybe just like so. Uh, they're not even going to be able to hold all that. Uh, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and ha give him orders to go, just in case it gets weak over here, because I'm probably not going to be paying much attention to what's going on over here. Uh, so, yeah, if it gets weak over here, uh, then we'll have them take a little bit of land. Uh, we'll go like so, just up to the river here. Okay, excellent. Uh, so I highly doubt that they're going to be <laughs> taking any of this. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it. Uh, but yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, they'll have a nice little planning bonus, and uh, we'll let them get onto their uh, onto the line first before we uh, actually do anything with them. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys assigned. What I want to do, guys, is I want to rush to Moscow. Uh, it's right here, and I really want... I'm going to think we're going to attempt to try and use one of these spearhead attacks, uh, but I, I've never used it in a uh, Let's Play yet, because, you know, we, we had that Australia one that we were doing where it just wasn't really useful for us at the moment. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and give them a, a little bit of a line here. Uh, we're going to do... I'm trying to go for Moscow here. Uh, another thing is a lot of these victory points are worth quite a bit, so we want to take those along the way if we can. How much is this one worth? Is that like something that, okay, it's five. Uh, these ones are a lot more. We got two 10-point victory points here and another 3.1, but that's right on the way to Moscow. Uh, so I think that this will be good, uh, what we got going right now. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, give them uh, a spirit order. And let's see how this goes. Uh, we want them to take Moscow. Uh, that's, that's the key here. Just rush to Moscow. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be good. Yep, I like that. That's probably going to be wide enough. It looks wide enough. It covers all of the victory points that I want them to get. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and have them do that. All 12 divisions already assigned to that. 
eight over here so we're good on that location we're gonna give them some air support obviously this is a uh, very important uh, front here so I think it would be smart to give them air support I'm trying to figure out which one of these air bases is the closest it kind of feels like that one is yeah I think we're gonna do this one here I think that'd be the uh, best location uh, we don't have the plane so we're gonna move them from over here just one wing we'll leave one wing whoops uh, and the other wing will move over to here okay uh, where are we going? Right here. All right, so let's get those moved. Uh, and then, yeah, we want to get them assigned over to uh, Central Russia. All right, excellent. Uh, and, yeah, they're good to go. Already assigned. Just a little bit of air support. It might help a little bit. What is that to see? I don't know, I even know how well they're going to be covering that area. Uh, over here, another thing I would like to do is we are going to take this Red Army here. Uh, and we're going to just pull a couple divisions out. We're going to pull, I think, two divisions. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's take one of these and one more infantry division. Uh, we'll just take... It uh, doesn't really matter. We'll just grab this guy here. And then we're going to have them... Or maybe we should do it based on location. Yeah, that, those are two good spots. Okay, we're going to go ahead and assign them over to this army here. I think that would be uh, pretty good to get more troops over here because we're going to try and push forward here. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit differently over there too. Once those divisions get there, uh, we're going to have to wait a second though. And we're going to have these guys come over here because they're going to help wipe out these four French divisions. Uh, just kind of free up uh, some of our allies here. Okay, so let's go ahead and let it roll. Uh, and I don't think there's anything else that we needed to do. We don't have long, guys, before uh, we're going to be seeing... Oh, they still didn't wipe them out yet. Okay, uh, you guys need to come over here. Deal with these guys, please. Now, they don't have any organization because they were taking the railroads. Uh, so this might be difficult to do. I don't know. Let's come here first. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and attack them there. I want to make sure that they get destroyed. Um, and then, yeah, we have these two over here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, wipe this division out. Yeah, we just have both of them go. Let's get this done, guys. Let's finish it up. Anywhere that we can attack. No, it seems there's a lot of troops all along, these, uh, all along this border here. You know what would be helpful? And I don't know why we haven't done it yet is uh, give them a little bit of a line here. Uh, we want them to take uh, Petrograd. Just go straight to there. That's what I want you guys doing. Uh, we're going to be moving up along the coast here. Okay, uh, but I'm not probably not going to give them a straight order. Uh, I don't see us doing it that way. Uh, we're going to do it a little bit differently. Uh, but first, let's get these troops over there. Uh, we have two more divisions that are coming over. It looks like they might already be there. Uh, and then we're going to go and wipe out these little areas here before we do anything else. Yeah, because I feel like we need to get, get rid of these, these troops here. Um, are they already attacking? Yeah, they are. Okay, looks like we're winning. Excellent. Uh, how about over here? Winning there as well. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and see if our troops have uh, moved to their new locations. Seems that they are there. Uh, let's let them get the planning bonus up, get their organization up a little bit before we actually launch the invasion. Of course, this does mean that the Russians are going to be moving their borders around here. As you can see, a lot of movement going on right now. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that they're going to be adjusting uh, for the fact that we just moved so many troops over there. So that's, that's not good. Uh, we might go ahead and launch this invasion first. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe it might distract some troops here. Just go ahead and go, guys. I know their planning bonus isn't great, uh, and yeah, they're probably not going to win here. Okay, but that's fine. I just want to distract their troops over here. Get some more troops coming uh, to, from our, our real objective here, is to take Moscow. Uh, and let's see, can we do this over here yet? No. We did wipe these guys out. We're still trying to finish these up. Uh, but what we're going to do is, and I suppose we can go ahead and do this now, uh, we're going to take all of our armored car divisions and probably throw them into their own separate army. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, obviously, we're not going to have a fantastic general over here doing that. Uh, but maybe we can, I don't know, maybe we can pull from somewhere. I don't know. Let's go ahead and create a new army here because I want them doing something different. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give them, I don't know, maybe like a little motorized symbol or something. Something. Yeah, we'll give them a tire. Here, that, that'll that work, I suppose. Uh, and then give them kind of a color, uh, a little bit different than this, obviously, uh, but something that hasn't been used yet up here. Uh, let's go with, I guess we're going to go with a, kind of a green. Yeah, we'll go with this. Uh, th I don't usually like using these because they're kind of they blend in a little bit. Kind of hard to see, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and get them uh, going on their line here. What we're gonna do with them is we're gonna assign them to right here because uh, we're gonna have them spearhead up the coast. Uh, although I don't know if we're going to actually have them do an order. Yeah, I might not do an actual spearhead order. Okay. Uh, they're just going to come up over there, although I don't want you guys going. I wanted you guys to destroy this army here first. Uh, maybe we want to take one of these other cars here uh, and get these guys destroyed. Let's go this way. Let's get two fronts open up. Okay, excellent. Uh, get those guys destroyed, uh, and then we can go ahead and launch this. 
let's see how our attack over here is going. Uh, it's not going. Nothing's happening. Okay, let's swing on back to the Red Army because we're kind of manually uh, controlling these guys, so we need to be the ones uh, sending them on their orders here. We're going to attack right here, get these guys destroyed. Okay, uh, and then we're also going to move our planes. Uh, we're going to put the planes into a different air region. Although, I don't know. Do they have fighters? No, they don't. Okay, so yeah, it's fine. We're going to put them over there. Uh, so we get a little bit of uh, air support over here because uh, this is where we're fighting now. Okay, anywhere that we have any openings over here since we are manually controlling this side of things. And I don't want to completely neglect it. I think the only area that I'm fine with neglecting right now is Africa. Really not a key point right now. Uh, it looks like they did move out of there, so might as well take that province. Though we don't really have anybody to take it. Okay, I guess these guys can come over there. It's fine. Uh, it's not like we don't have troops holding this. Uh, so yeah, it's going to reduce the front a little bit. Not that we are manning the entire front as of right now. I uh, really can't do anything just yet till we get these guys destroyed. I don't want them behind our lines. I thought our allies were going to take care of that, uh, but apparently uh, not. They are, they're not going to take care of it. Okay, so they're leaving Grodno. That somebody else is coming. Okay, uh, but they're leaving as well. Maybe we can take that province, grab that province up real quick. Well, one victory point there, really not much. Uh, they just move around so much. Okay, uh, we could uh, advance up this way. Though that would leave this uh, key point open. Let's go ahead and try and take that. You know what? We can do it with this one. All right. Let's go and uh, advance the front wherever we can. Take some provinces. Looks like we can advance right here as well. Let's go ahead and have these guys go. And I'm just going to manually control these armored cars here, guys. Uh, and just try and take some territory uh, with the armored cars because they're, they're really, really fast. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that army up and reduce that front just a little bit. I actually don't want them covering such a wide area. Yeah, we're just going to be pushing forward, and we're going to let the blue army kind of man these these areas as I take them. Anything that's opening, they're just so fast uh, that we will be able to take advantage of this. Uh, it looks like we're being attacked right here. That's going to slow us down. Okay, whatever. Uh, let them attack there. We got equipment effort four and mustard gas. All right, nice. Uh, let's go in and grab up a new national focus here. Uh, we're, we're good on manpower, so we don't need to get that military youth just yet. I think we're going to keep on focusing on the stuff down here. Uh, where are we at on this? 1918. Okay, uh, I think we should probably go ahead and get the infrastructure effort. Yeah, I want to go ahead and get that. I want to make sure that we can get that extra research slot uh, as soon as possible. Uh, obviously, that would be extremely beneficial. This mustard gas is going to help us out a lot as well. Soft attack and breakthrough is going to be going up. We're going to go get tank prototype. I don't know how I, I didn't get that last episode. You know, I mentioned in the comments that I completely forgot about that. Uh, are these guys ready to go? Planning bonus is not quite where I want it for all of these divisions. Um, but you know what? Yeah, let's let's go and let get get the planning bonus all the way up. Yeah, I don't like you guys attacking there. Can you attack here? No. Okay. Uh, they're not gonna be able to win over here. It's just the way it is. I think we're just kind of throwing away manpower and equipment. Well, no, we're taking some provinces here and there. Yeah, let's let, we'll keep letting them advance then. That is fine. If eight divisions can take territory, I am all right with that. Okay, so we're still sitting at 67 here. This this is taking much longer than I was expecting it to take. That's unfortunate. Uh, still nowhere else to move over here, but that's what we're going to do with these armored cars, guys. We're just going to try and push through where we can with a really, really fast division. Try and take as many provinces along the coast that we can uh, that we can get. Excuse me, guys. Just start coughing like crazy right there. Uh, we took this province here, which is awesome to see. I wonder if we can defeat them there. Let me just see. I'm trying to see some more weak spots over here. This one's looking pretty weak. We are on the defense, though, so can't really do anything uh, at the moment. Uh, let's go ahead and throw one more division over there because we're across the river here. I'm not too worried about them attacking right there. Uh, and I think we're going to go ahead and ascend these uh, units over there. Can we win? Yeah, we can. All right, let's go ahead and keep on uh, pushing the line forward there. Uh, and I suppose we'll, we'll attack uh, over here as well. Looks like we're going to be winning right there. Might as well assist. All right, excellent. And you guys can, uh, one's going to support here. And where's the other one? Give me the other unit. You're going to support right there. All right, excellent. So pushing the fort run forward there, even though we pulled divisions from there, uh, which is good to see. Uh, let's see, can we take any more? I wonder if we can take that province. Maybe. Uh, well, we got to wait till these guys leave. Well, they don't have any uh, organization. We can win there. All right, fantastic. Uh, let's go and support. Yeah, we can definitely win right there. Okay, and maybe we can grab ourselves an easy province somewhere. I don't know. We'll just have to see what's going on over here. There's just so much movement. The AI just loves to move their troops. Are these guys ready to go yet? I really want to get this started. Yeah, they're they're ready. We're going to go ahead and send this spearhead in. I don't know how well this is going to work. What we're hoping 
is that, you know, some people counseled against this, so I will uh, be fair that not everybody in the com comments agreed uh, with this action here because they're worried uh, that with this really, uh, you notice I made it really wide in the hope that they wouldn't be able to easily cut us off, uh, but they were worried that we wouldn't be able to, uh, to man all this front and we just end up with troops cut off over here, uh, which, which might be the case, but guys, if we take Moscow, I think that might be the end, though, of course, with them getting that, na yeah, look at them, they're 83% now, wow. Uh, where are they at on uh, capitulation? 39%. Yeah, uh, that is much lower. Uh, Germany is currently at 42%. Okay, yeah, that that's unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, we have these guys uh, launching their invasion right now, right? Didn't we already send them? Maybe I didn't. I think I just sent the wrong one. Oops. Let's go ahead and stop that. That was not the right one. We want to send these ones. Okay, yeah, we sent these guys. Okay, well, whatever. It looks like they're they're winning some attacks. I'm fine with that. Uh, and we're attacking over here. We're going to go ahead and uh, help here. Let's go ahead and attack right there as well. Uh, go ahead and just advance the fronts where we could. We, we went ahead and took another victory point right there. That's awesome to see. Um, anywhere else that we can make a little bit of movement. Okay, moving there. All right. Uh, yeah, we are winning most of the attacks here. Uh, and we do have something... Okay, that's the Tsar Nicholas abdicates. Uh, it looks like we had the... Oh, wow. Okay, so we had the Russian Revolution, even though we didn't take Minsk. Uh, so apparently that the assessment that you have to have taken Minsk for the revolution to start uh, was not correct. Okay, so the revolution has began. Uh, and yeah, that did freeze up the entire game uh, doing that too. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we have the Soviet Union. That's a thing now. Uh, the Tsar Nicholas... We'll go ahead and read this. Tsar Nicholas abdicates. Demonstrations have forced the poor Tsar into official abdication. Though the Tsar has named Grand Duke Michael as his, as his successor, the Duke has declined this offer. The appointment of a weak provisional government, which shared power with the Petrograd Soviet Socialists, led to confusion and chaos, both at the front and at home. The army became increasingly ineffective. Uh, so yeah, this is the, the first uh, revolution, which would be the February Revolution or March Revolution, depending on what calendar you use. Of course, you know, that's not the same date here for us. Uh, but yeah, that, that's historically. Uh, and that did not place the uh, the Communist Party into power, uh, so I'm kind of curious why they changed the Soviet Union already with, with Lenin in here. That's interesting. I guess they don't have the two separate revolutions, or maybe things just happen differently uh, because of, uh, I wonder if we can ask for, yeah, we can get military access from them. I think we will. Okay, let's, let's get military access from them. Let's be friends with the Soviet Union. Anything else we can do here with them? Maybe improve some relations? Uh, be buddy buddy. Maybe they'll join our. You know what? That would be awesome. We're gonna be friends with them. We're gonna attempt to. We have a lot of political power. There's no reason not to. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's let's try and be friends with the with the uh, Soviet Union here, the communists. Uh, what else can we do? Um, what can we change now that this has developed here? Uh, let's just see what is this th th this has done to Russia. They're now 52% towards capitulation, uh, and they're gonna have this massive issue over here, huh? Uh, we don't have to worry about not taking uh, Minsk now. That's not a problem. Uh, and also, yeah, Petrograd is uh, going to probably be in uh, the revolutionaries' hands very soon. I guess we'll probably want to go ahead and get Minks then. Uh, so let, we're going to change up the strategy a little bit. Uh, probably advance this way. You know what, guys? We're probably going to be able to take territory relatively easily here. Um, let's just go ahead, and we don't even need to have these separate armies now. We didn't even have a commander over here anyways. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's just go ahead and throw all these guys into this army, and go ahead and give them an order, uh, and just send them, because I think we can take advantage of this, uh, moment here. Let's just go ahead and have them, uh, take just as much territory as we can get. Let's just have them march through here. Whatever you guys take, I don't, I don't care. Take, take lands. Let's go. Let's go this way. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just send them too, I think. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get it going. Go and attack. Push forward. Uh, you can see that this situation is pretty dire for them. Uh, we need to also change up a few other things. Um, huh. I guess we're going to draw out the line this way now that Moscow is no longer there. And yeah, we'll go ahead and do the, the spearhead too. I, I mean, why as well? I, I mean, I suppose it doesn't matter now. No, we're not really rushing. We'll do a regular offensive line now. Now the situation has changed. I wasn't expecting that at all, guys. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and have it going out like this. I want you guys to take all that area there, uh, and we're going to go ahead and tell them to go as well. All right, excellent. You guys can go ahead and march through there. Uh, we should be able to take some territory over here as well, uh, get us a few more victory points. Uh, but yeah, it looks like that situation went okay, I suppose. And what are you guys doing? We need to make sure you guys are destroying them again. Okay, excellent. They're almost, almost done for. Uh, can we advance this front at all? 
anywhere where we can push forward. We're already pushing right there. Uh, pushing right there as well. Okay, it looks like we're either all of our divisions are either on the defense or on the offense. So, okay, excellent. It looks like we have another uh, frozen period here uh, where something else might have happened. Okay, uh, so yeah, that took a while as well. It looks like it might have, yeah, it has made peace. The Treaty of Brest-Litvosk. Uh, due to the combination of political instability, defeats in battle, and war wariness, we can no longer stand up to central powers. A peace treaty has been drafted in Brest-Litvosk, which allows us to completely annul our entente membership and exit the war at the cost of free Finnish, Ukrainian, uh, Cauc uh, Caucasian, Baltic, and Belarusian states, as well as typical war and uh, indemnities to the victorious powers. A terrible peace, but far better than the alternative. What did we get? Did we get anything? No. We didn't get a damn thing. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, uh, and where are these separate states that they said was going to happen? I'm not seeing any separate states. Well, that sucks. So we did all that to fight Russia. I mean, we defeated them. Uh, so, I mean, that's good, of course. Uh, we can now shift gears over to the Western Front, uh, which we know that the United States is going to be getting involved in the war very, very soon. Maybe a month away from now. That's what it looks like. About a month. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. Maybe uh, maybe a little bit less than that. Uh, but, yeah, that's that's unfortunate. I'm, I'm not really not pleased with that, honestly, guys. Uh, I wish we had gotten something from this. Also, we're going to start having resource issues now uh, because all this land is no longer ours. Okay. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Let's go ahead and reduce these guys' garrison. Don't need to cover that area anymore. Uh, and they'll get moving on their own. Uh, as far as the other armies, all the armies that we have over here, uh, we're just going to combine this one with the uh, army over here. Go ahead and combine those two. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and move them. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where we're going to put them. I guess we can put them over here. Uh, we also have this army here as well uh, that we can get going. We're going to put probably both of them onto the Western Front. I'm not too concerned about Africa right now. We can put the new divisions to Africa, the ones that are currently building. Although a lot of these are mountain troops. Hmm. All right. I think winning in the West is uh, probably the most important thing that we can do right now. So let's not even get too concerned. Uh, about uh, Africa right now. Instead, let's 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 defeat France. So we're gonna build out several uh, uh, borders over here, lines, uh, one for each one of these armies. We could probably reduce the Red Army's front a little bit. I'm not entirely sure. Let me just take a look here. Uh, let's let's draw them out from this way first and see uh, how this looks. Which one do we want? Uh, this is clearly the better one. Uh, they have uh, the best commander, and it looks like probably the best units as well. Uh, though they do have all of the armored, okay, or all of our armored cars. We might want to change that up just a little bit. I think we will. Uh, let's just go and grab two of these and put them over here uh, because we're going to be moving some of these into this one. Uh, at least one of those armor cars. Probably two of them. Yeah, like so. Yeah, like that. Okay, so that'll work. Uh, let's go and take these ones. Although, you know what? We could probably, it's probably better to put as many divisions into this one as possible since this is the better general. Yeah, that'd make far more sense. Let's go and grab these ones up, put them over there as well. Uh, let's just grab three more. Uh, three more of these divisions. The best ones. Wherever they are. Uh, we'll grab the, the one of these ones. Uh, we'll go and grab um, the veterans for sure. Yeah, we'll grab a couple of the veterans, I think. We'll leave them some veteran troops. I don't want to take them all. Uh, let's take uh, these ones here. And I think we can... That's, that's three. There we go. Alright, so this will leave us with uh, 15 divisions in that other army. Uh, this one here, the best one, is going to be covering this area. Down to the south. Uh, let me see how, how large of an area I think they're going to need. I think that'll probably be good. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and give them... We'll wait to give them an order. Let them get on the... No, no, no. Let's not wait. Let's do it now. That'd be wise. Uh, let's go ahead and have them... I'd probably just race towards Paris. Yeah. Let's just do that. Let's just uh, go this way. We'll have them take Paris here in a second. Uh, you know, once we get this, this territory taken. All right, excellent. So we're going to go that way. This smaller army here is going to be focusing on taking this little area, pushing through here, and then assisting the Red Army uh, once they finish. So you guys are going to draw out in this small little area here. We'll probably go ahead and reduce the Red Army a little bit, uh, but we'll wait till they get there because I don't want to leave that, that province undefended. All right, so they're going to start moving over there. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and give them a line as well. And yeah, I forgot. We got to deal with our resources. We got some resource issues over here. Uh, we want them to take this territory. Okay, uh, so yeah, we have some, uh, many issues uh, right now. Uh, it's probably going to be a serious problem, though. We can now get everything that we need from the Soviet Union. Oh, wow. Without having to worry. So yeah, that's one good thing. We can get all the resources without having to worry about, uh, you know, trading with convoys. So does 
Uh, we won't be able to get the the, oil, the rubber from the Soviet Union, though, so that's still going to be an issue. Though it seems like we're getting uh, enough stuff from them just fine. Uh, as far as the tungsten, it looks like we're getting the tungsten all right from them as well. What all do we need? We need oil. Because, uh, yeah, we lost all of that oil. Uh, let's get it from the Soviet Union. That would be probably the best thing to do right now. Uh, as far as aluminum go, it uh, looks like we are good on aluminum. We're good on rubber. We are good on tungsten. We actually have a, quite a bit of a surplus on the tungsten. We do need steel, though. Actually, I think we might be trading more than is worth it. Yeah, that last factory is li literally getting us two, two resources right now. So let's just do that. Uh, and then I suppose we're going to trade with the Soviet Union for whatever else that we need over here. Uh, for the uh, steel, anyway. Um, and we're good on everything else, right? Yeah, everything else is good to go. All right, uh, so that should fix that situation. Uh, anything else that we might need to do? Looks like we're missing equipment production. Um, what are you talking about? Oh, I'm a dummy. Okay, so it seems that I might have messed something up over here. Yep, I clearly did. That's why our fighters are building so quickly. All right, uh, looks like when I switched these up, uh, I messed it up. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to change these early fighters over to the early fighters 2s, uh, since we just got those. Uh, and we're going to go and create a variant, because we have a little bit of air experience here. And, and our, our fighters have not been doing very well in the uh, air right now. Let's go ahead and get all of these upgraded, at least one. Let's see if we can do two. I don't know that we're going to have the experience. Looks like we're going to be just short. I think this looks good. All right, let's go ahead and get these uh, crafting up over here, our Mark 1s. Uh, and then, yeah, this was my bad. I, I just messed this up. I meant to change it up to, well, I don't know what I meant to change it up to. Where are our our bombers, our close air support bombers? It seems like we just don't have any. Huh. Oh, okay. This it was the scouts for the close air support. Uh, and there is no upgrade for them. Okay, guys, I'm a little bit confused here. Um, let me just take a look at the, the technology. Uh, because I thought the triplanes were supposed to be, it seems that these are saying they're naval bombers. Huh. Okay, because I thought that these were the... Uh, they do interception air superiority. Okay. And these do interception air superiority too. Okay, so we got two new fighters. All right, so we didn't need to research both of those. Okay, I, I don't know. What, what's the difference between these two? Let me just take a look here. All right, it looks like these ones might be better. It's impossible to tell, though, because I did put more experience into these ones. Yeah, okay, it looks like we have two fighters, so we need to go ahead and keep researching the uh, close air support. That's what messed me up, guys. Uh, it seems that they have no uh, upgrade to the close air support. Uh, you have to use the scouts. So let's let's change that up uh, so they can be, I believe that's right, right? They gotta be uh, the ones that, yeah, it's the scouts. Okay, uh, it seems that we're just not going to get any close air support uh, until 1930. Well, this is all we have, it's just the scouts. All right, so yeah, we're gonna be using uh, more scouts here. I was wondering why our numbers were going down so much. That makes sense. What else do we have going over here? I know we got the outdated equipment. Yeah, the scouts, that's fine. Uh, and I hate that we're gonna have that little icon there. Uh, but anything else that we need to do that might need to get adjusted because of this? I don't think so. I think we're gonna go to go ahead and unpause this. Uh, let everything change. It looks like, the okay, there we go. Great Mongolian state, they're free, though they did join the Entente, which is unfortunate. Uh, we might see some more countries get free as well. Though I wonder if they're going to be joining the Entente. If this is going to be uh, more countries we have to fight. Uh, Poland should be free, right? It should free Poland up. I guess we'll have to see what happens. I have no idea. Uh, it looks like it's all being done by event. Uh, and it seems that this is also freezing the game. No, that was a save. No, it wasn't a save. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, but yeah, we're about to pump all these troops over here. France is done, guys. France is done for. Uh, got our civilian factories done as well. Let's go ahead. Ah, we have so much less factories. That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to need to get a few more civilians. You know what? No, we, we need military. It's fine. Uh, let's get military factories. I feel like we have to get these. Really don't have much of an option here. I'm going to get one more over to there as well. Okay, uh, that's looking good for now. Uh, and then we also want to go ahead and get the uh, military factory we just built. Get this assigned. Uh, we're going to put it over into probably early artillery. I think that's what we need the most. Yeah, yeah, that looks fine. Okay, how are we doing on resources? Looks like we are doing pretty good. Uh, we need one steel, but I'm not going to trade for that. Not just one steel. I'm not going to trade for that two wood either. It's fine. What are we currently working on right now on research? I think we're working on, yeah, this will get us more resources. Uh, it's going to take 100 days till it's done, though. All right, so, uh, yeah, our troops are doing okay now. Uh, looks like we're going to be uh, pushing forward. Uh, we're about to take a bunch of territory. And, yeah, this this is unfortunate because it's, it's uh, I don't know, if it's when they're freeing countries, what's going on here? 
Having a lot of like long pauses going on. Not entirely sure why. And why is there one little piece of UK territory over here? Is Soviet Union at war with anybody? Huh. Yes, they are. The Soviet Union is currently at war with the United Kingdom and France. That's interesting. Uh, I mean, they eventually did go to war uh, with the Allies or the Entente Powers, whatever you want to call them, uh, kind of in a way uh, with that civil war, uh, because the Allies uh, did support, you know, the the whites in that war, uh, and they, they kind of got involved. There were some foreign troops uh, inside of Russia that were kind of helping out, trying to get help those those whites win. Uh, and yeah, look at this. Okay, so there has been some territory changes. This is what's slowing the game down. It looks like, oops, my bad. Looks like all this territory. Did we get anything? Of course we didn't. So we're getting ripped off. Germany's gaining all this land here. Um, th this basically, it's it's going entirely off history right now, guys. Uh, which is irritating because, you know, that's that's not, that doesn't make any sense. We, we're over here, we, we fought Russia, we took all this land, and we're probably not going to get anything because, uh, historically, Turkey didn't get anything. So that's, that's a little bit frustrating. I think the mod should be more reflective of, uh, what's going on currently in the game. Yeah, Ukraine is now free. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we're going to see a lot of freed up countries here. Uh, you know what? We're probably going to go ahead and end this episode here. We got a lot of, uh, and, and a lot of pausing as well. We have exile divisions. Yeah, that's right. All of our troops over here are currently exiled right now. Uh, and did, it looks like they are at war with everybody in the Entente right now. They're slowly all going to war with them. Okay. Um, so maybe we can be friends with the Soviet Union. Uh, I doubt they'll be joining our faction anytime soon. Yeah, they're already in their own faction, the common term faction. That makes sense. Okay. So I, I like the way that the uh, revolution happened. But I don't really like, and yeah, you can see Estonia and Latvia is free now as well, but I don't really like how this has been handled afterwards. It is entirely reflective on history rather than the current situation, uh, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, it looks like we already have our troops over here. Wow, nice. They got over here fast. All right, guys, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this episode. Uh, and then we're going to be launching. We should get all of our troops over there. Uh, we're going to launch a full-scale invasion of France as well, taking the rest of this uh, German territory back, also take back Belgium, and we're going to get France knocked out of this war, guys, uh, very, very soon, uh, hopefully before America joins. It really doesn't matter. They're not going to get over here in time. Um, so I am frustrated what happened over here. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is, guys. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and thanks for watching, guys.